Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton and happy Tuesday to you. Now today we're gonna do sauces. That's right, one of the biggest differences when we go out to eat and cook at home, what makes the difference is the sauce. So I wanna teach you how you can liven up that plate, no matter if it's pork, fish, a piece of meat, piece of chicken, you can have it really nice and tasty and do something a little different. Now, one of the first sauces we're gonna make today is a bechamel. Now, this is one of the mother sauces of France. You know, in France, there are a lot of sauces and this is considered the mother sauce. And you know, in Louisiana cooking, we make a lot of roux. And we're starting this off with butter. This is a roux of, I should say, butter and flour. It's not necessarily a roux, but it's gonna turn into a sauce. So basically, we're gonna melt the butter. I have two tablespoons of butter, and to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. Now, you know, for if I make a soup, if I'm making a cream soup, I make this blonde roux because I want it thick. But you know, when we make a gumbo, we use oil and we cook that flour very dark. Well, for this sauce, we only want to cook the flour just long enough to get incorporated into that butter. So here, we don't need to cook this very long for the flour to change colors. Just get it worked together. Make sure that flour is incorporated into the butter. And now let's start adding milk. So I have a cup and a quarter of milk here that I'm going to add. And you're going to see as this heats up, this is going to thicken. This is going to make like almost like a milk gravy, a white gravy as this starts to heat up. You can see that flour in there, how it's a little lumpy, but once this heats up, it'll be okay. So here, while it's coming, coming together, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cracked pepper. Now, you know, in France, the traditional bechamel in France, they would put the milk in a pot. They'd heat up the milk, and in the milk there would be shallots, there would be a bay leaf, there'd be some peppercorns, there may be a uh, little parsley. They would heat that up and those flavors would get imparted into the milk. Then they would pour that into the flour and the butter. Here, we'll just do a little salt and pepper. Now, when I make a lasagna, sometimes I make a spinach lasagna and instead of making my spinach lasagna with a red sauce, I use a white sauce. And this is what I do. So instead of having that red sauce, the white sauce would be in between the layers of spinach. The other nice thing with this is the fact that, you know, if you ever have macaroni and cheese and you wonder why some people's macaroni and cheese is so good and others aren't, it's because of this. Here, put this, mix this in with your cheeses or you can put your cheeses into here. Matter of fact, in France, if you use Gruyere, when they put Gruyere into this bechamel sauce, basically it turns into a marinade. So if you've heard of a marinade sauce, that's basically the bechamel with Gruyere cheese inside. But this will get your macaroni and cheese all nice and smooth and creamy, and that way it won't be dry. So add this bechamel sauce to your mac and cheese, put a little cheese in it to make a marinade sauce to use on whatever you want, and I tell you what, this is just the first one, okay? Next time you see me, we're gonna make hollandaise so you can have a wonderful brunch. Welcome back to the kitchen. Now, we're gonna make a hollandaise sauce. If you've gone out to brunch, you know those poached eggs where you see that beautiful creamy yellow sauce on top? Or some of the restaurants you go to, they have hollandaise to dip those potato puffs in. Oh, it is so good. I'm going to show you how you can make this at home, especially nice and simple in a blender. Now, if you do it by hand, you might have to have an assistant help you because you want to hold the bowl and whisk while the butter is slowly poured in. But here, we're going to do it in the blender. Now, we're going to start this off with three to four egg yolks. The more egg yolks, the thicker the sauce is gonna be. That's why I like to do four egg yolks. And actually, one of my egg yolks was a double yolk, all right? 
Also in here, we're gonna do, I have about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and I have a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, okay? So we're gonna get that Dijon mustard in here with that lemon juice, depending on how much flavor you like. I love a lemony flavor. That's why I did a little extra lemon. Now I'm gonna put in just a pinch of cayenne pepper, okay? We're gonna put in a pinch of salt, just a little turn it to a black pepper. Now let's go ahead and get our lid on. Now, as we process this, we're gonna pour in the butter. What I've done, I put the butter in the microwave to heat up because we want the butter hot while we're pouring it in. So I'm gonna put this on a medium speed. And as this is blending, we're gonna pour that butter in slowly. that okay look at our nice creamy creamy sauce we can always take this take a spoon and taste it and adjust it now we can pour this into a container okay we can put this in a refrigerator it'll keep for a week if we want holidays could even be frozen now if you freeze it make sure it's in an airtight container freeze it take it out let it get room temperature if hollandaise breaks, now they're real popular, sometimes these sauces will break, all right? Basically what happens is they start to separate. The way to fix a broken hollandaise, boiling water, add one tablespoon at a time, or add an additional egg yolk with one tablespoon. Normally with the water, you're gonna need at least two tablespoons, but one egg yolk and one tablespoon of boiling water will get that together. So here, I'm gonna taste it, adjust it if I need to. I'll pour this in a nice container. We're gonna keep it warm because I'll show you how I'm gonna serve it. So we have one more sauce to go while I check on this holidays and make sure it's perfect. We're gonna make chimichurri, my wife's favorite. Hi guys, I saved the best for last. And the reason I say that is because this is one of Monica's favorite sauce, chimichurri. Meat, fish, pork, whatever. She just loves this sauce. Now, what I have here in our processor, I have some flat leaf parsley. I have some cilantro. I took fresh oregano, all right? Pulled it off the stem. As you can see, I have some garlic in there. And you know, we like extra garlic. I also have some red onion, a few red pepper flakes, a little bit of salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. Now I had some of these things already in, but I just wanted to show you what was already in our food processor. The other thing we're adding to it, this is a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar and a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. And since we both like lemon or lime, I put a little extra lemon juice in there. All right, because we love that flavor. Now we're gonna process this. And while it's processing, I'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil to it. So this is gonna make a little noise, but we'll get there. And watch how this will all just come together. Tell you what, that's it. You know you, what's nice with this sauce? Oh, look, some of our parsley and all came to the top. So let me just give this one, another little quick pulse right quick. That's what happens when you puree something. Now, 
this sauce, depending on how much olive oil you use, depending on how you want to process it, you know, I use a little extra lemon and lime in here, but here I have a pork chop that I just sauteed in the pan, or you could put it on the grill. Here I have a little chicken thigh that we just sauteed right quick, all right? So here's our chimichurri here. Our bechamel is sitting right here. Here's our bechamel sauce that we made. And look at our hollandaise. This is just water. It's really low, all right? You don't have to keep hollandaise super hot. We just want it really low. I blanched some asparagus. And now with our bechamel sauce, we can take our bechamel sauce, spoon this right over the top of our asparagus. And depending on, like I said, how thick or thin do you want your bechamel sauce, your, your hollandaise sauce, depending on how many egg yolks you use. So let's put this here. Let's get a little fresh cracked pepper on there. And I'll show you something that'll happen. That little clump right there that you see is, I wasn't paying attention, I let it get a little warm. And when it gets a little too hot, sometimes the egg tends to cook a little bit. But that's okay because I like it thick, all right? You can see how creamy this is. And this is what I'm talking about, how the sauces may separate. So I tell you what, gang, make yourself some hollandaise. Make a little bit of, you know, take your, your bechamel and turn it into a marinade with cheese. Or, or try yourself some chimichurri. So I hope this helps spice up your kitchen. You know, you can get the recipes at WWLTV slash food.com. So until I see you again, I hope you stay safe, be well. I'm Chef Kevin Belton for WWLTV. Have yourself a happy Tuesday.